The finality of life is brutal. Everything ends, be it by disease, rust, rot, erosion, or violence. Many fear the steady entropy that grinds away at all things and beings. So too does the bloat. We meet this man in the hamlet, coming from a faraway place and calling himself Ulog. He's a fat, jovial, friendly man who considers all to be his friends. However, his past is not remotely as pleasant as he is. Many years ago, when he was still normal, he was deathly ill, and his remote swamp community knew of no way to heal him. He was doomed, and pleaded with their cruel gods. He pleaded to Golak, the god of decay and disease, to spare his life from death. Gola would grant him this request, but he also gave him a vision, his life for the village. Ulog's animalistic tear drove him to accept this bargain. Driven half mad by his fear of death, he fell into shock when he realized the wording of his plea had not only doomed his village, but also him. Gola had kept his end of the deal. Ulog would never die of disease. However, he would also never be free of it. He would be an eternal well of decay, rot, and disease. He was heartbroken, and wandered the world for years in an attempt to help as many people as he could with his new powers, all in an attempt to quell his guilty conscience, and to be able to live with himself. On these travels, he met a blacksmith, who was plagued by brigands blocking vital roads to and from nearby cities. The bloat offered to remove these brigands, and overnight he destroyed their camp. Not with violence, he bathed in a nearby water source, a remote spring, which had been where the bandits were seeking their fresh water. As a sign of gratitude and payment for the bloat's actions, the blacksmith granted him a selection of his custom-made equipment. Ulog embraced a new way of spreading decay by collecting his refuse and sewage in a jug and launching it from a spray gun at his foes. This alongside his aura of decay, constant swarms of nesting insects and mold made him a formidable fighter for the good of man. So when he heard of the estate and the evils that lie within, he made his way there looking for a new way to make up for his past deeds. He comes to bring decay, disease, and erosion to all who wish to harm his newfound friends. He will not allow the failures of his past to burden his present, for he still fears death, but fears his guilt more than anything. For in some way, death is easy, living is hard, Living with the guilt of what you've done and trying to redeem yourself is the hardest path to follow. And the bloat chose this road to follow. Perhaps that's all the proof we need that he's still a good man, underneath all that rotten flesh 